Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to use million moves algo in Bank Nifty. So before I explain about the usage of the indicator, let me give you a quick glance that uh, you know how the pricing works on Bank Nifty. If you see here, we have one breakout, and there was a good trend, and then again there was a you know breakout, and there was a good trend, and then we have a breakdown. And uh, again, we have a breakdown, okay? So in a naked eye, if you are an experienced trader, you would be able to catch all this momentum. But if you are not an experienced trader or you're an experienced trader, it doesn't mean that you would be able to catch this every time. So a little help from the indicators would help uh, very much to you know gain more money. So... Let me explain how to add the indicator and what are all the changes you know I make on the indicator. So by clicking this indicator, you will get this and under invite only scripts, you will have a lot. But please remember, you would be able to see invite only scripts only if you have already subscribed. So if you wish to subscribe, you can you know use the link available in the description. Right, so my uh, preference is to use only Clean Scalper, yeah. Range Maniac, and Million Moves Algo. So before I explain, let me tell you what are all the changes you know I do. So under Range Maniac, basically I don't make any changes. I keep it as with the default settings. And under Million Moves Algo, I keep all signals, but I remove the trend ribbon, chaos trend line, order blocks. I leave this moving average. And the dashboard, I will keep it on and I will turn on this uh, stop loss and uh, uh, profit taking, uh, you know, marks. And that's it. So no more changes on this million moves. I'll go. And then, you know, clean scalper. I keep it manual and I prefer to have the fast setting as 31, 13 and uh, the slow setting as 21 and uh, the filter length as 34. Okay, why 13, 20, 21 and 34? These are Fibonacci sequences. So I prefer to use this. That's it. And also by changing this, you know, the lot of noises under this, you know, clean scalper has got removed. All right. So now let's see how to use this indicator. So if you recall, some time back, I was telling you there was a breakout. Okay, so now this breakout is not a false one. And this is a completed one I'm able to tell you very much clearly. However, by using this million moves algo indicator, you will be able to catch this momentum uh, very well in advance, right? How to, you know, uh, get this. So usually if the price is having a strong momentum, it will have a trend like this on the upper side. If it is on the bottom side, then the you know we will have it on this way, right? So it means every time when there is a fall, there will be a pause and it will try to bounce back. And again, there will be a breakdown and it will try to bounce back. And again, there will be a breakdown. That's how it works. So by applying the same here, here we had a breakout, okay? And this is a very, you know, uh, clear that we had a semantic triangle here and we had a breakout here. But whether this will be a false breakout or not, how to identify that? So our clean scalper is giving you a crossover on the upper side. And also on the range maniac, you are seeing this, you know, green dot. It means the trend is very much strong. So when the breakout has happened, you see, the stock has touched the middle line of this range maniac and it tested and it started having a journey the way how we have explained. So when the cross down happened, it is a very safest place or not even that particular area. When the price is touching, you know, the upper range, it is better for you to quit at least 40 percentage to 60 percentage of your holding to you know secure the profits whatever you have gained and if since the trend is very much strong you can trail your stop loss to the next level when it is touching maybe you can you know 100 percent take out to your profit or again you can you know trail your stop loss to get more uh, money so this particular crossover was really very strong you are able to make money but this crossover or cross down is not a good one 
okay as i told you already whenever the price is falling it should take a support and consolidate and then break down so only in this area we have to pick up the entry so here what happened here we have the fall where the crossover happened but it is not a continued trend because we had a support and the price reversed from the middle line of the range maniac but it did not break down to take the entry from here so this is not a very valid crossover so it is safe to ignore and next option or the next level here we have one more crossover but this crossover did not make a green uh, you know crossover area like this so it is better not to take this particular trade undo because what happened here when the crossover happened when the price is trading it is continue to trade on the upper side okay and you know this line what you are seeing this particular cell which is the you know uh, bar or a candle opened for the day so it is better we identify you know how the price is you know behaving and it is exactly you know opened near the upper range it came to the middle again it went we had to break out but the breakout happened where it is exactly on the upper range of the range maniac so it is better not to take this choice you know it is better not to take this uh, chance and you know uh, do not go with you know unconfirmed uh, trades so let us ignore this trade and wait for another momentum so what happened here the price moved it went down and price moved but again it did not have a breakdown so now the price started reversing it took a support and again it had a breakdown so this is a very good entry for us to enter that is scenario one scenario two you have a crossover which the red area coming up so that confirms that this fall is confirmed so you can easily keep your target near the lower range and close your positions and again we have uh, um, the price started reversing to the center line and it's you know it came back and it came uh, you know up but at this range you do not see the green crossover so it is better not to trade this area and again you know the price was consolidating in this area for a while and now we have a crossover okay okay so this breakdown if you see it is the place where the trend is showing very much strong on the downside and also the crossover the red area is confirming the trend is very much strong so and also the million moves all go giving you a uh, you know the entry area the stop loss and everything though it is kind of delayed it is up to you how you want to take a trade so if you are asking me where i might have taken i might have definitely taken this particular breakdown okay so where i might have exited i might have exited in this particular range so you might ask are you not missing this particular uh, trend yeah i am missing it but i wanted to secure the profit whatever i have gained okay so this is how you have to use the uh, million moves algo with different combinations of settings so please remember always this is the momentum if you see on the trend then every breakdown is an opportunity if on the upper side every breakout is an opportunity whenever such scenarios are happening you need to remember the crossover of the clean scalper and the uh, you know if it is taking the support from the middle middle line of the uh, range maniac it is having a very good strength and at the same side if it is falling down uh, by taking a support from here or the price is already trading down it is moving up and again it is falling that breakdown should be a good entry for you to take the positions so again if you wish to take this particular uh, indicator the link is available on the description happy trading happy money thank you